Prince Harry may have given away the gender of his and Meghan Markle's royal baby with an item of clothing he wore for a gala performance at the National History Museum in London. The royal baby's gender may have been revealed by the color of Prince Harry's tie according to a reporter on Today Extra. Like many other royal commentators speculating Meghan Markle's blue dress the Duchess wore in Morocco this week, the reporter claimed Prince Harry's light blue tie may have also been a hint. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex admitted they did not want to know the sex of their child beforehand, the name Victoria has emerged as a clear favourite among Britons for the taunt. The name Victoria would be a nod to the royal family, as Queen Elizabeth II is a great-great-granddaughter of Queen Victoria. Although the two monarchs never met as Queen Victoria died before Queen Elizabeth II was born, the two appear to have a strong bond. But a source close to Meghan told the Daily Mail this week Meghan Markle had it told friends in New York she is expecting a royal baby boy for the spring. Meghan and Harry have this week returned from a three-day visit to Morocco and are expected to be soon settling down in their new home on the Windsor estate, Frogmore Cottage, to prepare for the arrival of the royal baby. Speaking to Vanity Fair magazine, a source commented, Meghan has been talking to some of her friends about the birth and how she and Harry plan to raise their baby. Her exact word was fluid. She said they plan to raise their child with a fluid approach to gender and they won't be imposing any stereotypes. The source was not clear on exactly what Meghan meant by gender fluid. Some parents deliberately avoid associating their children with historically gender-linked colors, in particular, pink and blue. They may also avoid promoting toys which have historically been associated with one gender. Other parents go further, raising their children as gender-neutral rather than explicitly male or female. American actress Kate Hudson attracted attention recently after revealing to AOL that she plans a genderless approach to raising her daughter Renee, who was born last October. Commenting on Instagram she later explained, me saying a genderless approach was a way of refocusing the conversation in a direction that could exist outside of the female stereotype. It just felt a little antiquated to me. Not all girls want to be a princess, some want to be a king.